Okay, so this is a video to find uh, the mean and standard deviation of data uh, using the GDC. So I've got these two golfers here, and this is my data. So on the GDC, um, I've got a new spreadsheet. I've put the data in for golfer A, 2.5, 4, 6, 2, and 5. And golfer B, 4, 3.5, 2.5, 3, and 2. And I'm going to label them. I'm going to label them as golfer A. I'm going to like label Goal for B. So to get the data we want or the statistics we want, uh, I'm going to go menu, statistics, calculations, and we have got two lists. So it's two variables. Uh, my first list was my goal for A, and my second list was my goal for B. I'm, I'm going to put it in there. So what I get, I get my X values first. So that's my goal for A is my X list. So I've got X bar, that's my mean, 3.9. Um, this is the interesting one. I've got standard deviation. So this is my sample standard deviation, uh, which is what I use for sports science. And this is the whole population st standard deviation, which is what you use for AISL in your basic maths course. Um, so make sure you know which standard deviation you're using. If I keep going down, uh, N, how many people I've got in my sample, and then I go Y. So Y is my second list, my goal for B. So Y bar is my mean for my Y values. And then my S, so here's my standard deviations. And again, S of Y is what you use for sports science. It's your sample standard deviation. And the one below is the whole population standard deviation, which you use in maths. If you carry on going down, you actually get given your correlation value, your R value, Pearson's product correlation. Uh, and then if you carry on going down, you've got your five uh, minimum, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, maximum for your X values, your goal for A, and you carry on down, and you've got the same for Y, your minimum, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, maximum for your Y values.